What is going on, YouTube fitness family? We are here back with another exercise grading video. So what we're doing is grading exercises based on their efficacy to help you grow and build muscle. Not for powerlifting. This is for bodybuilding, for looking your best on stage and building as much lean tissue and that aesthetic look that you're looking for. So today we've got one of the most aesthetic body parts, in my opinion, which is the delts. So if you want to have that crazy X frame, that look of just that pop, that really looking wider, making your waist appear smaller, delts is going to be a really, really good muscle group, sorry for you guys to focus on. So Greg, are you excited for this one? Yeah, delts, you gotta have delts. It's probably the most important body part you can develop as a man, I think, in my opinion. All right, well, without further ado then, let's hop into it. Number one exercise we are going to grade is the barbell seated military press barbell seated military press i'm going with a b rating i think it's good exercise i don't think it's a great exercise i i don't enjoy it as much um i don't know how safe it is to do it it's not the easiest thing to get under um i don't really have that much to add to this one i, I don't do it personally if somebody wanted to do it i'd say go ahead but i mean it's working the delts but I think there's better exercises i am going to grade the barbell seated military press a c minus for bodybuilding purposes. Pretty low. Pretty low, yeah. Um, and I actually have some reasons for this. Number one is just like, we're talking motor recruitment and hypertrophic effect as compared to risk factor. And it's just pretty high here, the risk factor, because we are trying to probably put maximal loads overhead um, in a seated position with a barbell. Um, so there's a lot of things that can go wrong. The other thing I've mentioned, the same thing about the bench press, barbell bench press, it's controlling your angle of your your elbow by the positioning of your pinky. So your, your elbow is going to track your pinky inevitably. So if you're here, it's bowing the elbows out. It's putting a lot of pressure on that front delt, that bicep insertion. So I would prefer seeing you guys do like a more of a hammer strength press or even a Smith machine press because you're going to get a lot more control. Let's go to... A dumbbell lateral raise. An A. No, an A+. plus. Dumbbell lateral raise. To me, it's a must exercise. For me, I love this exercise. I can do it all day long. I, I don't overtrain from it. It doesn't hurt. Even when I have a bad shoulder, I can do these exercises. It hits more the middle, the medial delt, giving that width. Much better than, for example, a front raise. You don't need to overdevelop this. And So that is a staple in my delt exercise. If there was one exercise I'm doing, I only had one time to do it, that's the one I'm doing. I think I'm going to give the dumbbell lateral raise an A as well for medial delt development just because of that fact that it's very low risk profile, especially when done correctly. Sure, you can take the 50s, 60s, 70s and swing them around. What I would do to maximize your delt <coughs> raise is actually get a slight elbow bend and a little bit of a front rotation with, the, with basically rolling the shoulders forward, that's gonna to allow to keep it more in the delt and out of the trap. A lot of times I see people with overdeveloped traps because they were actually doing their lateral raises using a lot more of their trapezius muscle right here and more of your neck as opposed to your delt. So really focus on lightening up the weight and getting a really good negative which will help you actually think, okay, am I really connecting with my medial delt or am I just swinging this using both momentum and more traps? So when done correctly, I think, for building up your delts it's a great exercise for beginners intermediate and advanced use some more tempo time or attention by giving this exercise an a all right next one we have a dumbbell front raise so this is i'm excited to see what you have to say about this i'm giving it an f because i don't think anyone should do this exercise the front delt is already overdeveloped almost everyone well except perhaps you is bench pressing all the time they're overdeveloping their front delt you don't need any extra development there i think that if you have only five sets or five exercises or or an hour in the gym i wouldn't waste it on developing the front delt i'd rather you see hit the rear delt that's usually what's underdeveloped on a body almost everyone is overdeveloped here everyone knows they have to focus on here and most people don't work the back nearly as much so i would skip out on the front delt i wouldn't do it at all and choose something else i'm gonna rate the dumbbell front raise as actually a b b minus um not for the reason that's a dangerous exercise or you can't build up your front delt but I think for that very reason, the front delt is very heavily hit when you do your chest exercises, when you do your pressing movements, overhead even, um, you're going to hit a lot of front delt inevitably. So 
I think when you do too much front delt, first of all, it's not going to build that kind of aesthetic flow of that kind of capped delt. So I'd really focus more on that rear delt, medial delt exercises when we're talking about isolation movements and raises. Um, that And also I think that there are better front raising movements. I think like a rope cable front raise is going to be a much better movement pattern for front delt specifically. Um, I think the cables in general I think are going to trump dumbbells just for a lot of reasons but for the for that reason i'm going to go with a bb minus cable lateral raises uh do i like it more or less with the same i'm going to give it the same exact rating i think it's a great exercise i personally don't do it as much i find that it's just the ease of access where it's the dumbbells there i can always grab a dumbbell whether it's i'm using either a 25 or 30 or 35 depending on how i feel if i have to go into a cable uh machine it's usually occupied for just ease of use for you know how hard it is to get access for me i do my uh exercises in basically a circuit so i just kind of throw myself in there whenever and grab a dumbbell it's a lot more work to get into the to the cables more adjustments and so for ease of use i'm going to say the dumbbell just a little bit better for me but they're both great exercises to do i'm going to give cable lateral rates an a plus for delts um there's a lot of reasons for this uh, i think that the vector of force is going to be the number one for me because um, when you can do let's say behind the back or cross body where that vector of force actually coming across so at the bottom of your rep realistically with the dumbbell you have no tension on the delt because that vector of force gravity through the floor it's pulling your shoulder straight down now if you're taking that cable behind you and that vector of force is coming from across you still have tension on your delt on the bottom of that rep so from here i have constant tension even when i get to the bottom if let's say that cable's behind me or even in front of me i'm still under tension so let's say if i'm doing a crossover lateral raise there's still it's coming from across my body so that vector force is very important and i think that constant tension even at the bottom of the rep in the most stretched position because i think that for delts that's slept on a lot because people talk about stretch media hypertrophy for quads for uh lats but i think with delts even when you go across the body you get that really nice stretch through that medial delt um under load i think that you can get a lot of extra hypertrophy and just keep the tissue safer over time um, and also with a cable i think there's a lot more uh selectorization with the behind the back for, for in front of you different angles you can even use a cuff uh, you can even like buy one of those kind of things that go around your wrist and race so you don't have to worry about your grip at all or any of it going through your hands so for that reason a plus let's do cable y raises i mean i've never specifically done this exercise but just based on what he's describing i have to give it at least a b plus it sounds better than many of the exercises people are doing i can't see why you wouldn't want to do it it's going to have constant tension you're starting to a good stretch feel it the entire way and so i don't know b plus i haven't tried i don't know i'm giving the cable wire raise an a plus the specific reasoning for this is because it allows for a lot of engagement of the medial and rear delt in a way that isn't as taxing on the joint and i've had a lot of people and clients and, and people i've worked with try this exercise and not and that can't do lateral raises like they're like oh lateral raises are no go for me they'll try the y raise they're like oh you know what this actually oh man like this burns like this feels really good and so i think that it's that unique angle of not being in that that strict lateral especially if you have any impingement rotator cuff issues labrum tears any type of like let's say degradation of the joint or um anything to do with cartilage degradation like it's harder to do a lot of things in that strict lateral so this y raise provides you the ability to still get a really great pump contraction in that medial and rear delt without having to do that true strict lateral movement i have to give this one a try let's finish out with a barbell upright row jeff cavalier would have to give it an f i'm gonna give it i have to give it a c rating i'm not gonna give it a fail i did this for years when i was growing up i liked it i made sure i did it with a wider grip although it can cause injuries for me it never was a problem um i still has its place i i like the exercise it feels good it looks good too which is important for some people but overall i think there's much better exercises I'll, again i don't want to develop the front delt too much there's no real point um, I do it a slight lean, pulling it back, trying to get some rear delts. So I'm going to give it a C. I'm not going to make it fail. It still has its place for some people. Yeah, I'm going to give the barbell upright row for delt development a C as, as well. I think that 
it's not a terrible exercise, but let's get back into the, the mechanics of these type of exercises. With this, we are trying to maximize delt engagement. With a barbell, it's it's holding our hands in one single plane. We can't turn the hands in any capacity. When we come here, a lot of times when people take over with their uh, with more of their traps, just because the barbell disallows from any type of movement. What I would recommend is using a cable with a rope attachment or even handles so you can actually turn, internally rotate the, the thumbs, thumbs down, pinkies up, which allows us to pull here and raise here, which is going to allow us to keep the shoulders down, not shrugged, and pull more out and up and drive the elbows up, which is going to get more medial and rear delt engagement as opposed to traps. That's my recommendation. That exercise for me is more like an A. So that's why with the barbell upright row, it's less controlled. You're also getting pulled forward because that bar is in front of you, so it's harder to get a negative, which obviously I think is one of the keys of any type of hypertrophy focus movement pattern is to have a really good eccentric portion of the movement so if you can't hold the eccentric because you're getting pulled forward by the weight being in front of you whereas with a cable let's say rope raise you can actually do the seated you can do them lying back and not worry about getting kind of pulled forward by that weight mm. good points i know i'm full of them <laughs> so that is a wrap for the shoulder delt video on if you want to have crazy godlike capped delt shoulders this is the video for you share it with your friends i'm sure there's gonna be some controversy around some of the things we talked about but thanks again greg for being part of this video you're a legend man if you're not subscribed to this guy go subscribe to him i've been eating his cookbook items all day they're amazing buy his cookbook um and so if you're not subscribed to my channel i mean at this point like I don't know what's, what's wrong with what's you? What's wrong with you? It's Why haven't like, you? You might press that bu you bell might have button. Something literally, physically or mentally wrong with you. So hit that sub button and the bell button too. And that the bell lets button. them know it's it there. You, know you can the watch it right away and comment. Dropped. and you can comment and you can hate all you want. We love the hate comments as much. We love the love comments, but we love the love comments too. <laughs> so we'll see you guys on the next video.